hi guys so welcome back so in this video we are going to create node.js restful api using mongodb we have a backend server written in express.js in the javascript and it's a restful api and we are going to put this express server in docker container and then we have a mongodb database which is connected with this express application and this mongodb is also running in another docker container and we are going to write a docker compose file which is going to um, uh, turn on the two uh, containers and then we can uh, communicate from express app to the mongodb and the client can send request post request update get delete this kind of request directly to the api run express and then this express is going to connect with the mongodb and get or, or post some data so let's start coding um, first of all we are going to initialize a project and I can just go and I can just copy and paste some dependencies here so I can just go here and then we can say npm install So we are going to write uh, our server app.js and we are going to do this as uh, const express is equals to require express const app is equals to express app app.use express.json and uh, then we are going to say const port is equals to let's say 5000 and app.listen port and then we have a function uh, and we can say console.log api server started on port 5000 is there a mistake here okay i i think this let's start our server okay yeah it's working fine so now we need two things here first of all we need to uh, define a file like this const connect db is equals to require dot slash db and we are going to create db dot js file here and here in the db.js we are going to write our code to connect the express application with mongodb and the second is const product is equals to require dot slash product and we are going to create a product file product.js in the product.js we have mongodb schema so uh, let's start writing this product.js before anything so i will explain what kind of data we are going to store in mongodb and what this api is all about in my previous video i created an api using solidity smart contract where instead of mongodb we use solidity smart contract to store and retrieve the data it's the exactly same thing that uh, let's say consider a supply chain application or some like warehouse there where, where there are different products and you want to store the information of the product in the back end and using the api you want to uh, retrieve this uh, information uh, let's say the product has uh, different parameters um, like name quantity and price so you can consider it let's say an amazon api 
where the amazon home page where uh, where all those uh, products are written let's say headphones mouse or speakers the price is this and quantity is this so consider this an api is actually uh, fetching all this information from the server and pasting it in on the front end on amazon page so we are going to do the same thing instead of using solidity smart contract we are going to use mongodb and we can say product schema is equals to new mongoose dot schema and we can define schema first of all the product must have a name and what is the type it's string and it it's needed like you you need this information to write something in the database and then we have this price uh, let's copy this and let's say quantity the type of quantity is number and number and it's string oh not stringify and it's a colon I don't know why I always put equals okay so now this is the quantity uh, yeah I think we made some mistake here oh come on so our schema is defined now we can say product is equals to we can create a mongoose model and the name is product and we are going to pass product schema so this is a mongoose data model so let's say there is a mongoose da mongo data uh, mongo database and there is some collection like in in mongo there is a database and in each database there are different collections where you can store your data so when you are considering a random collection you can store anything you want you can store like a json with 100 fields json with 50 fields or json with just one field but when you define a data model like product now this is a collection product which we are going to see in the in this video when we are going to see the mongodb in the docker container so we are saying this product must follow the product schema i mean if someone wants to write this data name price and quantity it must be there like name price and quantity no more things can be added i cannot add an animal name in the database in this product schema so this product schema actually forces this collection to be written in the same way as it is defined in the product schema so we are going to say module dot exports is equals to product we are going to do this because when we are going to grab it in this uh, prod uh, in this product variable it's going to export it here and let's let's write our uh, db uh, code like when we are going we are again going to say const mongoose is equals to require mongoose const connect db which we defined is equals to async function actually you can define it this function and you can reuse it in all your project uh, where we are where you are going to use mongodb so we can say try and catch error error and we can say console dot error error dot message and process dot exit one like just exit the process and here first of all in, we need to define a link so we are going to say const mongoose dot connect the link is mongodb and uh, here 
it's the username and password at container name and the port will be 27017 which we are going to use so when we are going to write the docker compose file we are going to mention these and then we are going to update it so it's uh, and in the in the same way we are going to pass two new variables use no use new url parser is true and use unified topology true and we can i think it's going so we can do this and let's make it more beautiful and it's true okay and let's just do this here and then we can say cons once we try this we can say console.log if everything goes well we can say mongodb connected so our mongodb file is all and okay so whenever you are writing a module you need to write exports is equals to connect db so you how you export it so let's come back to our application now and once we have started a server uh, const app is equals to express we can say connect db so we connect the database and then we have app dot get slash products async request response and it's going to be an arrow function we can use try catch error and we can say res dot status 500 dot send error dot message and in try we can say const products is equals to await product dot find actually we defined a data model and dot find uh, it's going to find all the products with this schema which we have defined here so it's going to get all the product from this collection and it is going to show it in our api so we say and we can say res dot json products so we have this uh, this get function is ready so we can copy and paste the same thing but here we can do is id i the id of the product and it's same but here we are going to say uh, const product is equals to await dot product find by id and request dot params dot id so so basically when you are going to make a request let's say http localhost 3000 slash product slash let's say the id is one so when you are going to put something like this in the get request it's going to go here and this request dot params the parameters dot id it's going to take this value this one and we can say if there is no product throw new error product not found and uh, we can say res.json instead of products we can say product 
and everything is same so now we have our get request we can do is uh, app dot post and we have the pro products here and it will be same but here we are going to get something from the body the its name price and quantity because when we are going to write something we will provide it in the body as a json and we are going to say its request dot body and then we are going to say const product is equals to we are going to say new product and put what information here name price and quantity and we can use the dot save function to save it in the product schema in the collection and then we can say res.json product or we can say res.json success true we can say something like this okay uh, and we can just remove this this and if there is an error we can say res 5000 and we can just copy and paste the same thing and we can say put products and we are going to uh, update the product with id and we can say const uh, we can say okay remove everything from here we can say const product is equals to await product dot find by id and update this is a mongodb function the built-in function so we can say request dot params dot id as i explained we are going to grab this id from here and we are going to take request dot body which we are going to give and then we are going to say new is true so we are going to update it so the new is true means uh, whatever we are going to put in the body it's going to update it using the put command and um, okay so I think we are missing something here um, no I think we are not and then we can say the same thing from here if not product if like there is no product just throw an error and product not found and we can say res.json success true like it has been updated properly and uh, yeah and finally we can create app dot delete and uh, we can use the same thing and uh, instead of product dot find we can use find find by id and delete and we can just use the id and delete everything and then we can use the same thing if there is no product we can say product not found and res.json success true so everything is ready now and now we can write our docker file which we are going to use to um, which we are going to use to update uh, our docker container so i'm just like going to copy and paste this here because uh, it's the same i have used this in my previous tutorials and this npm start let's just say npm start is node app.js this is the starting point and then we can go and write docker.compose.yml 
docker dash compose so uh, we can also copy and paste it here uh, we are going to use mongo latest image restart always so this is root is the username and example is the password so what we can do is we can go and copy this root and go and paste the username here and example is the password and what is the container name here db so db is the container name so we are going to copy and paste db here so now everything is ready so um, and this is our app so this dot means that it's going to take this docker file and it's going to build and this app depends on db so first it will start mongodb and then it's going to start this app so uh, let's i hope everything is complete so let's say docker dash compose build top level object must be matching yeah i didn't did not save the file so and i can say docker dash need docker dash compose up and dash d de detach mode like i'm not going to um, like uh, show any output from this file here so let's start okay so our containers are started so let's go and see the containers here so our containers are started so if we go to our app container we can see the api server is started on port 5000 and mongodb is connected to so uh, let's go to postman and let's try to get this okay so right now we don't have anything so we can say post uh, body and let's say we want to post this like keyboard the price is 30 and the quantity is 100 so let's do this success true and let's try to get it okay so it has assigned a random id to this so let's try to make more products let's say mouse price is 20 and the total quantity is 100 and then we have speakers price is 50 and quantity is let's say 52 52 so send so now let's get all the products so we are getting three products if you want to get one product let's do this okay it's going to give us the product using the id so let's try to update this product this product we have quantity now 100 our warehouse has been updated and we got some more speakers so let's do this success true now get everything now get this so we see our quantity is 100 and let's try to get all those products again so we got this uh, three products and let's try to delete something i'm going to delete this mouse so i'm going to delete this success true let's try to get everything product not found and let's try to get everything we will have just two products okay so we have these products here so you see that's how we can uh, actually um, create an api and connect it with mongodb and then we can uh, do this like put so let's uh, let's open cmd and let's do docker dash it our database what is the name of our database container uh, okay let's do docker ps it's node.js okay docker execute and node.js mongo api db dash one this is a long name of our container and we can use mongoosh the username is root and the password is example no such container um, 
नोट जे एस मोंगो डैश ए पी आई डैश डी बी डैश वन आई थिंक इट्स द सेम कंटेनर ओके लेट्स गो हेयर लेट्स सी डी बी डैश वन वट इज द नेम ऑफ दिस कंटेनर व्यू डिटेल्स इंस्पेक्ट let's try to put container id 2ac46 d62284c no such container oh come on we we need to put this dash it okay so now we are in this mongo db container we can say show databases and use use test it's a test database and we can say db dot get collection infos so you see this is our products collection and we have stored this so we can use the find command db dot products dot find so you see this is how our data has been stored in this container use keyboard the, the object id and speaker so that's how you can actually go inside a container and uh, see and you can also create databases you can create more um, collections and uh, you can see like how your data is being uh, stored so thank you very much for watching this video and i hope you have learned a lot from it so i will be coming with more videos in the future if you have any question just put it in the comment box and i will reply to you so thank you very much take care bye bye